That's a good thing you do, but you didn't bother to increase the peak pressures. You didn't bother to increase the respiratory rate. Just increasing the FiO2 to 100 is not going to clear out your CO2. Okay, so you have not looked on that aspect of the ventilator. You have just increased the patient is going to bradycardia. Patient has a bit of hypo. Column is moving. 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 Column is moving.
so can you uh, there is a gradually improving in the vital by changing the oxidator spo2 is around 95 tachycardia gradually is uh, controlled now we will <coughs> Uh, we can say uh, we can see there is a uh, uh, regulation in the change in the delta pressure. Now we gradually taper off the ventilator setting by decreasing the. Uh, we provide the pressure pressures uh, low uh, pulse pressure, which we would expect on a, a VA ECMO. Otherwise, other things look all right. So the uh, apparent only problem here seems to be the bleeding. Uh, Purino is uh, present here, ACT and coordination status. ACT is around 240. Uh, it's uh, hemogram. Hemoglobin is 8.4. Okay. Uh, counts at 20, 24,000. Platelets. Platelets is around. Your ratio, you do whatever you are supposed to do by the pressure. 178. Pressure is a pressure increasing to the next week. There is a lot over there. Arterial pressure over there. Last image is PHS 7.16. This is 300. This is 28. Lactate is around 18. Lactate, lactate is 3.2. This is post of uh, uh, post oxidator. This is patient setting. Around uh, 60 ml per hour with good texture, good color. Ramen. 